everybody, this is Joe. Thank you for watching my Giga Texas construction update video. Hey everybody, it's Joe. I'm back out here at Giga Texas. It's Friday the 5th of April, 2024. And there is a lot of activity going on and you're gonna see a lot in the video, a lot to talk about as well. Before I get into a few things in the intro to look for in the video, I just wanna remind you that next week, start on Monday, the solar eclipse is going to happen. I have a lot of family and friends coming in from out of town. And because of that, my schedule next week is gonna be somewhat disrupted. I will not be flying on Monday. I will not be flying on Friday. I might be flying on Wednesday, but it all depends on my guests. Just uh, be aware that my schedule will be changing a little bit next week, but I should be back at action the week before, a week after that. Now, a few things to look for in the video today that are exciting. First of all, the multi-level parking garage has now finally reached its final size. In fact, as you can tell by this image, the topping ceremony, this is a tree topping ceremony that is done with structures when the last of the major parts of the building are installed. Sometimes they do that with steel. In this case, it's with concrete. And this does signify that the building is now completed as far as major construction. There's still gonna be work being done with concrete on the floors, on the roof, and of course, finishing out the facility. But this is a major milestone. Going across the road over to the Boring Company site, we see that the tunnel has extended significantly into the ground. There's probably about 30, 25, 30 meters worth of concrete tunnel segments already installed. The Proof Rock 3 is completely under the ground and it is continuing to do that tunneling. We also see the spoils bin with the excavator removing a lot of the dirt that comes from the tunneling operation, putting it into dump trucks and carrying it away from the site. So a lot of great activity with the boring company today. The last part that I wanna show you for today as far as construction is on the east side of the casting machine structure. We see more of that screw type pier section being prepared and most of those screw type piers have been installed and they're doing additional work on that section. But just to the north, we see concrete segments have continued to be cut out and removed and this is part of reshaping this entire section next to the casting machine structure. So a lot of progress here. The last thing that I wanna show you is of interest, especially for people who are looking at buying Model Ys. Now, I have seen in the past examples of tests with the midnight silver metallic gray, and that is the color that normally comes out of Giga Berlin, but it has been recently introduced at Giga Shanghai. From these images, it looks like we might start seeing those coming out of Giga Texas as well. There are a lot of Model Ys in what look to be this lighter color silver. And I do hope that that is the case because I know a lot of people are interested in that particular color. So anyway, a lot more to see around the site today. And as I mentioned, a lot more to talk about. Also, just a reminder, my schedule next week will be mostly not Giga Texas. I just want you to be aware of that. As always, thank you very much for watching. Let's get into the drone. Let's see what's going on here at Giga Texas and have a great weekend. Take care. If you would like to support my efforts, please consider using these links, which will be in the video description. If you are interested in Tesla products, you can help yourself and support me by using my referral code. Don't forget to hit the like and subscribe buttons on my YouTube video as this helps as well. Thank you. My drones are ready and raring to go. Let's go flying over Giga Texas. What a beautiful sunrise here over Giga, Texas. 
And even the starlings, uh, the birds that nest just under the drone here, are excited as well, as you can see. But there is plenty going on on the site today. A lot of uh, great new progress and a major milestone. But we're going to start here on the south end. Good view of the extension and the glass work. There's a lot of work going on the ground underneath here, and we'll take a look at that here shortly. I did want to give you a view here of this southeast corner. You can see these red items. I think those are going to be forms for footings. So you see the screw type piers and also many more of those rebar cages for footings next to that trench. So we are going to be seeing some kind of construction here in the very near future, and it will be very interesting to see what they actually add here next to this intersection. The road for River Road Extension continues to be worked here. You can see all of the earthwork. It's being widened considerably. They've also been uh, making sure that the grade is level across this area between the tree belts and also between the two ponds. And you can see this smaller pond continues to shrink as they fill it with more dirt. But a really good view of how this uh, river road extension and the intersection on the right with Robotic Avenue is shaping up. Now, there is a major milestone that is going on associated with the multi-level parking garage, and I will show you that here shortly. But what we are seeing now is the work on concrete fill for the ground floor, the ground slab, and also the six upper floors, which includes the roof section. You can see the rebar mesh is being laid out on another section of the roof, getting ready for the concrete. And the uh, meanwhile, here on the east side, on the bottom left, you can see those green trench boxes in the trenches. You see more materials uh, laid out on the east side, and of course, all of the steel corrugated pipes, and that is associated with the trenching that we are seeing. That is to extend the underground stormwater pipe system through this area underneath the Robotic Avenue extension, which is just behind the drone. As I maneuver around the two cranes, which are now idle because the construction or at least the major assembly for the multi-level parking garage is now completed and how do i know that besides just looking at the structure itself i'll zoom in here and you can see this sign it says yates also that christmas tree this is the tree topping that happens on structures when they reach their final height or their final structure itself and this is a major milestone and congratulations to Tesla and the Yates construction team for achieving this milestone in a relatively short period of time. And as we've talked before, this is an extremely large structure. It, uh, based on the square footage with all of the floors, it's the third largest in the world. So amazing success, amazing accomplishment, and uh, just congratulations to the team. Now, as we fly up over the west side of the multi-level parking garage, I'll give you some good views along the east side of the stamping machine structure. And I'm going to fly up over the power lines and to give an update on this opening on the roof just on top of the body in white. You can see that it has got the curbs all the way around most of the preparation work uh, uh, for the weatherproof membrane around this opening section is completed. We see workers on the beams. All of the scaffolding and other materials underneath look like they are installed. So soon we'll be seeing those ventilation ducting installed or at least moved from the west side over here for installation. As I come up over the original southeast corner of the building, it's a good view of all of the steel that is on the ground waiting for installation, the steel that has been erected around the four tanks, uh, the position of the yellow crane, and also the cyber trucks on the ground. What this is indicating is that due to continued construction on the underside of that steel structure, and the other work that's going on here, they've changed the flow of the cyber trucks once again. And now it's going back out through the original opening here on the left. Now on the ground, I'll give you a zoom in here. This work that is going on partly with the footing on the bottom left and also that underground covered almost tunnel with the elevator shafts, this is disrupting the Cybertruck path that was going through that area. So that is continuing to be an issue that the Tesla teams need to 
work through as this structure continues construction. We see another one of those underground tunnel segments with all the formwork and then the covered elevator shaft on the second floor. And much more trench work is going on here in this open section. Looks like it's for that black piping system. It may be related to the roof water drains that are part of the roof management system for when it rains. And that's also why you see the peaks and valleys of the steel structure on the roof is to allow for that rainwater to be collected. Another one of those underground structures has a lot more rebar and then we see another one of those footings nearby as well. That kind of mimics what we saw on the opposite side of this structure. Now as I fly up over the roof, this is a good view of all of the decking that has been applied. Also that peak and valley that I mentioned, and you can see that clearly with the glass line. The glass is obviously level and straight on the top, and you can see how the roof changes in its peaks. And again, that is for that rainwater management system. On the southeast corner, a good lower end look at this area with those red uh, containers for the footings for the concrete and just how the activity here looks today. With the lighting, we can see right through the glass and see that uh, underground structure that is kind of like a tunnel. And again, it has that elevator shaft and it's clearly lined with some sort of wood railing right now. As we continue to maneuver towards the west, we can see a parapet wall is starting to be constructed on the top of this open section next to the windows. That gives you an idea of what the roof line will appear to look like from the ground as that will be a parapet wall or a false wall on the top, making sure it looks like it's level. On the ground floor, here's a different look at this underground concrete structure. More rebar work is being done for the roof section and of course the perimeter grade beam cutout uh, is evident as well. On the left hand side of the screen coming to the center is the third of those underground segments. Again, a lot of form work, a lot of rebar getting ready for that concrete to be poured. On the left hand side of the screen, we see all of the glass panels waiting on in those crates and on the trailers for installation. We also see between these two trailers a round top tent. This is a workshop for the employees that are installing the glass and we can see that tarp over one of those uh, installation devices that has suction cups and counterweights and that's what cranes use to pick up the glass. And we see what this uh, entire section with the trailers and the workshops look like on this southwest corner. Good view of that kind of an entrance with that trapezoidal atrium in the southwest corner. And uh, with the sun glare, I'll turn the drone slightly back and show you this trench work that is going on on the ground. This is most likely for electrical conduit, but we'll monitor and see if that is the case. More work being done on the mounts for the glass along this side of the building as well. You'll note on the columns in the upper right, there's black squares that shows what the window line is going to be like. So the window line will be level with the two windows on the left, and then it will have this angled up portion to get to the full height of the glass, which will wrap around the entire south of the structure. Next to these two temporary platforms and of course that rubbish chute, we can see more items being prepared for delivery and movement up onto those platforms. That large silver item right in the middle where the two workers are looks a lot like the items we saw at the TKS paint system on the far west side, and I'll show you a little bit of that later in the video. More cyber trucks here awaiting in this temporary staging lot, possibly for more parts before they are ready to move over to the outbound lot and the end of line facility, which you can see here with this view across the highway. A lot of the cyber trucks that are lined up on the east side waiting for their opportunity to go through processing. And then of course on the north end, you see many cyber trucks lined up waiting to move into the north end of the facility. And then the flow is from the north to the south as they continue processing. That large tank on the bottom right is for uh, pressure washer to clean off the tires and the underside uh, if there's any mud as they exit the south end of the factory and work their way over here. It's a good low end view of many of the cyber trucks that are lined up here waiting for their opportunity to uh, get to the outbound lot and move on to uh, customers. 
And as we get towards the end of the structure, we see a red and black ramp waiting for installation on the right-hand side of the screen. And of course, many more Cybertrucks here at the supercharger site and stored just to the south of the supercharger site on that uh, dirt area, which will eventually be that paving that will extend this farther to the south. Another Cybertruck going through the test track here today on the west side of the end of line. More Cybertrucks on the left on the outbound lot. And this is a good view of more trench work on the bottom of the screen for electrical conduit and those concrete vaults. And of course, this entire section is being prepared for asphalt to extend a parking lot and also part of the outbound lot to this area and then there'll be lighting, very similar to what we see with the outbound lot here. As I get in closer, I'll get lower, and you can see the number of Cybertrucks, the number of Model Ys on both sides, and of course the transport trucks getting ready to pick them up. And the exciting news will be something that we'll see on the east side testing a calibration lot later in the video, and it has to do with color, uh, possibly a new color, for the Model Ys. But this right now shows you the Model Ys that are being prepared to move over to their holding spots in the outbound lot and then wait for the pickup here, hopefully later today, and start their way onto customers. As we get to the material storage yard, I wanna show you a couple of things here at the TKS paint system trailer and some of the modular components. You'll see at the center of the screen, a very similar a uh, silver kind of box-like structure. This is almost identical to what we saw being uh, delivered and lifted up on the temporary platform on the uh, factory. And then of course, you can see all of the ducting amongst these uh, racks and the white tanks here that will be destined for that roof section that is opened up that we visited earlier. This uh, entire section here, it continues to get trenching for the electrical conduit for lighting, and then it will be paved. It is possible that this might be an extension for an outbound lot, maybe be able to handle the next generation vehicle as well. We see more earthwork with those center dump trucks uh, in this clearing location. And it uh, looks like maybe we'll see additional construction there. And as I pull away a good view of the downtown of Austin and this new lot that has had most of the conduit uh, installed, except for that section in the upper right. And we see what looks like uh, conduit sticking up out of the ground for lighting and uh, just a really good view of how this area is changing. A nice overview of the West support facility, which includes the West warehouse on wheels. And we see a large section of seeded uh, grass area on this berm where we, on my previous video, saw some of the earthwork going on. So it looks like it's mostly for erosion control. As I bring the drone down lower, we're going to fly along some of the concrete tunnel segments as we work our way to the boring machine and the boring company operations where there is a lot of activity and a lot of uh, updates to be able to talk about. First, we see here more of the concrete tunnel segments have been moved closer to the Proof Rock 3. And of course, the spoils area has the excavator and the dump trucks uh, active, picking up the dirt that's coming out of the conveyor belts, which is indicating just the operation and how much the boring tunneling has progressed. And as I continue to maneuver the drone around with these close-in views, you can see that conveyor system with that belt, those beams, the A-frames, all of the control and office trailers. And of course, the tunnel segments now showing that the Proof Rock 3 is completely under the soil now. And as it moves forward, it uses those tunnel segments, those concrete segments as a thrust surface to push it forward. And then as it gets a certain distance, then they add more of the tunnel segments in. It's also a good view of the clearing that uh, shows where the tunneling is underground and where it's proceeding towards the highway. And then again, here's a really close in view showing all of those tunnel segments 
and uh, approximately maybe about a meter or so uh, of movement of the proof rock three, then they add another one of those uh, tunnel segments and then that just continues. All of the other items that we see under the black tarps will eventually follow the proof rock three into the tunnel, be connected and be all underground as that tunneling operation continues. That red and yellow item is for the ventilation for the crews inside the tunnels. And this is a good view of the generator that is operating into that uh, uh, large trailer that is providing the power, the tunnel segments, the uh, grout silos, those three silos, and of course the belt cassette with the spoils bin. So really good view here of all of the activity of the boring tunnel today. So let's get ready to cross over the highway and we'll resume the flight on that side. Here's a good low end look at this interesting ramp system that they have installed. We can see the concrete dividers. The ramp is designed for a truck to get up on top of that and then be angled down to have gravity assist with the unloading. And then we see underneath that door, another one of those conveyor systems. We see these new receiving doors have had the uh, markers placed above them now. So that's a, another great sign. And of course the west entrance way how it looks today. The trapezoid with the stone glass looks great. And it looks like crews are doing some work at the main doors today. So let's continue to fly to the north. Uh, we'll fly over the Model Y outbound or end of line facility here on the right hand side of the screen. Does not look like there's a lot of activity at this point in time in the morning, but we are very early. As I fly up over many of these trucks, bringing more of the trailers, I wanted to stop and give you an update on this clearing of the section here with concrete where we've seen a lot of it being cut out and removed. Looks like they are applying a temporary panel, that green panel where they remove the concrete one, and then it will most likely have a texture mixture put on top and then it will be coated with that white stain. Uh, it looks like it's still temporary, so uh, it may be a longer term temporary solution. At the 4680 cell production section, we see the recycling continuing with this bin full of basically the canisters for the 4680s. So these are not complete 4680 cells, but they are recycling them, possibly because they either are changed the design or they've failed some sort of testing. The roof section here continues to be held down with bricks and also we can see some of that work to fix some of the scenes as that part of the roof was coming loose and allowing some rain leakage. So hopefully they've got that under control now. As I fly up over the northwest corner, I'll bring the drone back down, give you a good view here of the activity where they continue to increase the production size and capability of the 4680s uh, by expanding up to eight lines at some time at the later end of the year. We see some steel items have been delivered on the right-hand side of the screen. The um, commercial elevators are in operation. We see one of them going up on the taller of the platforms. More of the wooden crate deliveries on the left next to those three white vehicles and then more of the uh, humidifier system, dehumidifier system in that opening. As we pass along the plastics manufacturing section and the paint section, we see two large trucks delivering more items next to this uh, trailer complex and of course a lot of castings in the rack mounts around this area as well. More of the work going on on the berm to uh, prepare it for erosion control and you can see how that looks today with some of the workers next to the uh, earth moving machinery on the left hand side of the screen. Many of the castings and rack mounts, uh, pretty much almost no uh, materials for construction now on the ground here and of course this area is continuing to have the saw cut and now removal of concrete sections. I have a feeling this is going to be very similar to what we see with this open section with all of the screw type piers. We also see an excavation being done here down the middle and uh, it looks like they may be preparing the grade for 
Perhaps the next stage, which would most likely be a moisture barrier and then rebar being installed uh, along with those uh, screw type piers. As I move, maneuver the drone around here on top of the uh, roof and the wall, I did notice that there is activity with crews here with these ventilation ducts. Looks like they may be preparing these for uh, some ducting themselves that will be installed on top of those rectangular openings. And we can see some of the activity up in the upper part of the screen where it looks like they were removing uh, some sort of material or maybe placing that material around where that uh, pipe system is. And that pipe system extends most of the length of the building down to the south end. Here's a good view of that concrete removal and that uh, section with the screw type piers and how it looks today. Um, we also note next to these two towers, this new concrete section that has been recently added and it has already been cross cut as well. That's for stress removal and uh, preventing from cracks. And I think we're gonna see that extended a little bit further to the east. Here's a good view of these receiving doors and it looks like there's actually some work now in that dirt section, which is great. Uh, hopefully we'll see concrete placed there. And of course, many of the castings for the cyber trucks along this side. And the concrete apron for those five receiving docks has been poured and it looks like there's another section waiting for concrete. Now here at the testing and calibration lot, we see many Model Ys, a lot of cyber trucks and some interesting Model Ys on this side of the uh, parking lot or the testing calibration lot. You'll also note that many of the vehicles are covered with what looks like dust. It's not actually dust. I will let you know that there is a heavy pollen season going on right now. And if you've ever been in Texas, you'll know just how much the pollen coats everything instantly. But all of these Model Ys appear to be that quick silver, a lighter shade of gray than the recently introduced gray, which is closer to black. So there is a lot of them here. You can definitely tell that the color is lighter as you compare to the Model Ys on the left of the screen next to that red one. And if you compare to the Cybertrucks as well, as it's a very similar color to the Cybertrucks. And of course, many Cybertrucks here as well, next to the helicopter pad, the Rainmaker on the left, and uh, just waiting for their final processing. As I turn the drone around, I wanna give you a good view of Robotic Avenue, how it is continuing to shape up, and of course, all of the steel corrugated pipe that is laid out, all of this will be uh, put into trenches, follow along underneath the Robotic Avenue, and then when this is all installed, then it will be paved and connected to Robotic Avenue that you see on the left-hand side of the screen. So let's fly up over the East Warehouse on Wheels and take a look at the activity near the battery cathode plant complex of structures today. We see steel corrugated pipe being set out here. Most likely that's gonna follow along with Tesla Rhodes extension. And you can see how that looks uh, heading up to the upper left where the big intersection with Robotic Avenue is located. As I fly along the east side, is good view of the water detention pond and the filtration system on the right, the crash test facility and that new uh, tank or bath on the bottom with the grates on them as well. We see the three new trailers on the asphalt on the left, this open section waiting for either asphalt or possibly concrete. And of course the wade pit itself uh, hasn't been used in quite some time. The water is pretty much just from local rains. As we continue to fly to the north is a good view of the site around the cell test and recycling lab and all of the various trailers and that brown trailer office complex next to that structure. I'm gonna turn the drone around, just give you a good view over the uh, cathode plant towards the main factory and of course the uh, multi-level parking garage. And then nearer close uh, to us is the dye shop. And as I continue to maneuver the drone around here, you see that lift station on the bottom right and more of the trench work here at the west side of the cathode plant. And it looks like it may be being filled in now. So the work that they've been doing here may be coming to an end, at least for right now. We can see that the trees are starting to bloom, which is uh, another great sign, but that's part of the source of that pollen that I mentioned over at the testing and calibration lot. 
Here is the temporary uh, platform with the rubbish chute and how it looks today and some of the work that continues on the ground. And of course, the chiller plant with all of the vaporizers and nitrogen tanks down the alleyway. More preparation on the ground here and preparing the grade. All of this is for asphalt that will connect to the new asphalt you see on the right-hand side of the screen throughout this entire area. So progress on the north end of the dye shop today. So I'm gonna start a big pullout uh, for the drone from this location, give you a higher altitude view of the entire site, uh, particularly the bath battery cathode plant and dye shop complex here closest to the drone in the middle of the screen, the main factory, the multi-level parking garage, and of course the end of line and west support facility on the top of the screen. As always, thank you very much for your support. Have a great weekend.